Welcome. Welcome to the floor of the Experimental Aircraft Channel and the 31 day build challenge. Coming up right now. As, as soon as I get off the floor. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. And we're back. Welcome to day three of the 31 day build challenge. Uh, quick, I'll give you a quick update of what I've done today on my project, but really quick, just want to say thank you to everybody out there. I started a group uh, for everyone to post uh, their updates and video to, uh, Experimental Aircraft Channel group. And so far, many people have already joined, signed up, and started sharing video. Um, say it with video. Great job, guys. And thank you for coming over to the, uh, the group and joining there. And I invite you, after this video, to head over there yourselves and join the Experimental Aircraft Channel group and start posting some updates of what you're doing in your garage, workshop, hangar, kitchen, living room, bedroom, airplane related. Um, another thing I wanted to uh, clarify just real quick, this is not a race, this is just motivation for you uh, if you haven't started a project or you if you are currently working on a project to get your button gear and get things done. This is not a race. This will not be built in days. This will not be built by next weekend. Uh, somebody made a comment earlier about not seeing much of anything being done on this and that is true. These are baby morsel cookie crumb steps along the way. It takes a year, if not years, to build an airplane. And there's lots of little tedious things which all add up over time. So that's why I'm inviting and encouraging everybody to do is to take those little steps daily because it keeps you involved, keeps you engaged, keeps some momentum, uh, and it keeps it fresh in your mind of what you have to do next. One of the biggest things that I face and you face building is if you walk away from a project for a couple of days, week, or a month, it takes you literally a couple hours of time, uh, investment of time, just to read through the plans and familiarize yourself with what the next step is so you feel confident enough that when you pick up that tool and squeeze the next rivet that you're doing the correct thing. So anyway, I just want to clarify that. Um, also, one more thing. So on Sunday, I pour the coffee. On Monday, I put the milk in the coffee. On Tuesday, I stir the coffee. And the fourth day, I think I just dropped the coffee cup on the floor. No, I don't even drink coffee. And we're back again. Okay, so guys and gal, this is what I've been working on today. I know it doesn't look like much again, but uh, baby steps, baby steps. This is most all of my weldments that will be going into this build. Uh, all the chrome molly steel weldments. And what I did today is spent a good amount of time on going into the tubing. Let's see which is a good one here to show here. Um, inside, which this has already been cleaned up, but these are just cut basically on a, a regular saw. And get this in focus. This is just cut on a regular saw and there's a lot of um, burrs inside from the cut. It's very sharp, this sharp edge. And again, get in focus. I don't like sharp edges. And it has to get painted, right? So I spent some time and took a file and cleaned out all the insides of the tubes, make sure there was no burrs. And then again, a lot of these things are just straight cuts. These corners here were a bit sharp. So I filed them, put a radius to them. Um, everything that was cut square uh, basically had a little bit of a, a sharp edge to it, like this here and these here and so forth. So as you know, steel does not file or drill or cut near as fast as aluminum, which is why I really like working with aluminum. It's much softer and easier to work with um, all the way around than steel. Still like working with metal. It just takes a little bit more time. So I've separated these parts. I found a, I have found a powder coater that basically does a bunch of hot rod work. He has a 
he has a hot rod shop, um, builds race cars, and an oven to do the powder coating. So, the powder coating. He has an oven to do the powder coating. So, I've separated these, these parts here. Uh, I've separated for colors. This is going to be in a light metallic silver. Uh, anything that is basically visible, um, I'm going to try to do in silver, metallic silver, including the cabin frame, which is up on the ceiling over there. Good place to get that out of the way. And then the other parts here that you're not really going to see, uh, whether controls are just covered by stuff like a seat back, is not going to be seen anymore once it's covered. That'll simply be done in black. Uh, ironically enough, black or silver, when you powder coat, is literally the exact same price which is fine for me, fine with me. Once you go to crazy colors like hyper green and purple and uh, some yellows, then there's an upcharge for, for those colors. But um, yeah, these, I want to go ahead and get sent to the powder coater because once this rear, once this rear tail cone gets finished, I'll be doing the front and then there's a the cabin frame and all these parts will be needed rather quickly to uh, keep going in the build. Yeah, hey guys, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And just a reminder there, do you have your whiteboard? Do you have your goals written on your board? Maybe send me a picture of what you've written on your whiteboard. All right, so there's just a quick update of what I was able to get done today in preparation to get sent, to get these parts sent to the uh, powder coater. Um, one thing I wanted to mention real quick, uh, I reached out to a couple manufacturers today. I'm hoping to get so some responses back tomorrow, uh, but uh, being that I'm trying to promote everybody to get into building right now, I want to see if there's any end of year Black Friday deals or end of year promotions um, to see if I can help you guys get going with the project. Uh, Aero Adventure, who manufactures the Aventura uh, line of amphibious seaplanes, uh, is basically giving away a five hour um, free training or five hours of training included with a kit purchase at the end of this year. So if anybody's on the fence about a uh, amphibious seaplane, check out the Aventura, which is made by Aero Adventure. Uh, they are giving away five hours of free transition training or flight training. And I will check back tomorrow and the next day. I've got a couple other calls out there to see what other manufacturers might, again, have an end of year deal going on right now so I can share that with you. If you're brand new here to the channel, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, this, again, I'm going to say this every video, is not my typical style or format. This is just the 31 day build challenge. I am still gonna be doing my regular videos and episodes, which pretty much have been Saturday nights. I'm gonna try to stick to that schedule as much as possible. Saturday nights between seven and 9 p.m. or so of uploading a video every week. And that's where I go and travel out to builders and flyers of experimental light sport and ultralight aircraft. And also visit manufacturers to give you kind of a behind the scenes look of how it's made uh, at the manufacturer. So guys, I ask you to go ahead and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button for this video and the little bell notification for future videos. Thank you very much for supporting me and helping me grow this channel to reach more people, again, about the experimental light sport and ultralight aviation. I'd like to invite you also over to the Facebook page for Experimental Aircraft Channel to follow and like there. And then again, I just started a new group or you can come over and uh, join in, share your build experience, say it with video, say it in video as much as possible. Not an absolute requirement, but a fun way to share this information. We get a glimpse of people's projects on a daily basis in their garage, which is really interesting to me, uh, which is kind of why I started this. I like, I like to see this. I really do love to see what's going on in your garage or your workshop or your kitchen or your, you get the point. So I'll see you guys in the next videos. Remember, just build it, but right now.